Hey, welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And when I first heard about what I'm going to share with you, Hyperbooth.ai, I really didn't think I was going to do too much with it because at first glance, it seems like backward technology, things that people were doing a couple of years ago, creating fantasy headshots and fantasy profile pictures and things like that. And what that usually involved was much like what I do in my everyday stable diffusion world and creating models of people. You take about 20 images, anywhere between 10 and 20 images, and then you use that to create a model. And there were lots of services out there and apps that are still doing this today. You upload those images, you pay them like eight bucks or whatever, and they give you 48 images. Hyperbooth has made a lot of that completely unnecessary. And now instead of 20 images with all these different poses and different lighting situations and all these parameters, believe me, I deal with it all the time, and you can create new images in a variety of styles. Let me just show you. Here's what you're presented with when you go to the website. It looks so much like what we were seeing about a year ago or so with similar sites where you'd upload all those things and create a model, but you're getting the same types of results and honestly, sometimes way better with just one image here. So you've got 200 plus photo styles to choose from. We're gonna go through some of them, but you get a good look at them here, including realistic ones. They're not all fantasy. There's corporate and headshot and things like that. This is comparing their technology with some of the others, but don't even judge it by this. Let's just look at it when we get in there. And then some frequently asked questions. You can sign up for free and get a certain amount of images that you can play with. I did get a full membership so I could show you numerous examples without worrying about running out of credits here. But it's basically a three-step process. You choose your style, you personalize it, and then you generate the images. You can see here that if we scroll and scroll, there's a lot of different images to choose from, and they are also categorized up here. We can go right to the game art pictures, right to the fantasy pictures, right to the cyberpunk, and right and so on and so forth. You get things like figurines and stickers and royalty and different kinds of artwork and sketches. We've got glamour shots. It just goes from there. Well, how does it work? Well, let's just choose a style. I'll choose this one, Gala Charm. And I've got some pictures here. So to as not to get into any trouble, I just used pictures of myself and Tracy and other people who volunteered to help us with this. In this case, the example I used was using a male. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my picture, but this is a picture of me without a beard. So I'm going to upload a version of that exact same picture that does have facial hair, such as it is. And then I can choose the aspect ratio of the picture. I'll just go with square for right now and click on generate, which will require four credits because I'm gonna get four images. It takes about 45 seconds to a minute to get all four images. And there you go. Definitely a little bit stylized, but still not bad. And certainly good enough that I could use it as sort of a novelty profile picture. So let me just scroll down and show you some of the other examples in different styles. But this is one of our volunteers. Her pictures turned out great. This gives me a good opportunity to show you the difference that the quality of the original image makes. So if you look at these two sets, we've got her sort of smiling here, sort of smiling here, and here not smiling, and here not smiling, and here smiling. We're actually using two different images. If we go to start generating again, and I'll choose everyday urban bohemian. Let's zoom in on these pictures a little bit so we can see. The very subtle difference here, here she's just got a very straight face and here there's a subtlest of smile and that transfers to the image when you generate it. As we see here, this didn't have the smile, this did. They both captured the likeness perfectly though, just a different level of expression. Here's some styles with Tracy and we'll show the original image that we used to generate this as well with all of these images. So overall really good, not necessarily perfect and some of them are just plain bad, which I'll show you but the quality is good and actually the resolution is pretty good and you can download them at this resolution, which I believe is 1536 by 1536 and then you can click the HD button and get an even higher resolution image. So again, these were created with the picture of me with a beard. If I choose the picture without the beard and then we get pictures like this freakish to look at for me, but you can see it does a decent job given what you put in there. And different styles are gonna generate these images at different levels of reality. I mean, obviously a style like this is illustrative, but I don't like this one. I don't think that looks like me. That doesn't look like me. This one captured it and this one captured it, but it's like those other two were looking at somebody else. In this particular case, we had another model with just a straight look on her face, no smile, and it transferred this way, but it looks really nice. It looks very realistic. These pictures have really good quality and only require one image. Let's talk about that image. Let's choose another style real quick about glamour Parisian chic, and let's pay close attention to the upload guy here. You want a frontal portrait. Basically, a passport photo would be perfect. There's no side view here. We don't want multiple people. It will confuse the model. We don't want a small face because we want to be able to see the details. That's what gives us that really high quality and realism in these images. We don't want your features covered up with glasses or your mouth or anything like that because obviously the model needs to see you. Same thing with unnatural expressions. If you go in with a picture like this, it's gonna think you look like that and it's gonna try and place that on the image. So it's much better to have either a neutral expression or as we've seen, a slight smile. And then of course, let's keep your clothes on. 
Hmm? Just for fun. Now you may have noticed that some of those styles feature a male or a female. But what happens if you use the gender opposite of the example? Well, so we get stuff like this. That's my unbearded face with one of the models that is a female. I don't know what's going on with the mascara on the side. And conversely, I put Tracy's face through a male model and it gave her a little bit of a beard. But not in all the pictures. Here's another example of me with a female model when I was using the picture with facial hair. Very unattractive. And here's my friend Terry, who is also way into AI and is a big face swapper herself. Her Facebook page is filled with pictures of her face swap, just like mine. This is Terry in a more cartoon style. All with the same image, a royalty style, but you can see the detail on the face with lines and such. Some more. Now here's an example. This was using my picture, but I don't see any, maybe the slightest bit, but there's not much of me hidden in these models. Some models are a little bit too extreme, I think, to be effective. This series of images was really where I discovered the difference that a subtle smile can make because we had a picture of Tracy where she was, again, just passport photo, no expression, and it was giving images like this, which I think looked really cool. They have a definite tone to them. Tracy's a happy person. She smiles a lot, and these pictures aren't really reflecting that. They're very serious, very serious Tracy. I just put the slightest bit of a smile on there, and then that transfers nicely as well. It just adds another level of emotion and connection. These are nice pictures. This wouldn't have made sense with no smile, right? It's Christmas or winter or something joyful. These models want to give me a lot more hair than I have, and I'll take it. Now, this is an example of an illustrative style that used Tracy's picture that I thought worked really well. We actually capture Tracy's essence. It really gets her in the mouth and the general shape of her eyes. So oh, these are cute little pictures. These are, that one, okay. The one before that, not so much, but you know, it's AI. You get some winners and you get some losers. Me as a samurai. I don't know why I keep putting myself in suits. I don't do it in real life. Now, this was an example of a picture that did not work well for Tracy. The picture I used for this, so the nicer picture of her where she's smiling actually distorted it so much that the end result doesn't look like her really at all. I would do a much better job with those pictures where she just keeps a straight face or the smallest grin and not a big toothy grin. Here's a series I did with Abraham Lincoln's face just for fun. With this one, I utilize the feature that allows you to define what style you use rather than using a predefined one. Let me show you. I'm gonna click on Start Generating, and instead of choosing a predefined style, I'm gonna click here, Design Your Own Photos with Your Own Style. I'm gonna say, Close Up in an 80s Arcade, and use this picture here, and see what happens. So in this case, it didn't work very well because I don't even see me. It just focused too much on the arcade. But let's try again. So let's look at the prompt I used for this one. So I can scroll down to this series of generations and click on Try Again, and it will present me with the prompt. Close up of a scared face hanging off the edge of a cliff in a dystopian landscape, signs of a battle in the background. So instead of that, let's do a happy face hanging off the edge of a building in a cyberpunk city traffic. Sure. Let's choose her this time and click generate. Oh my God. Well, that didn't work out exactly as I had planned. The heck? That's crazy. Okay, it's a little hit or miss, but it's still a fun, maybe it's a diversion. But if you like this kind of thing, if you have the need to generate these kind of custom images, either for a profile page or just for a card for somebody or whatever your purposes are, this is a nice, easy way to do that. Take a quick look at the pricing, see what we got going here. For free, you can do four photos per day, which is basically one round of stuff. So if you just need a quick photo update for your profile page and you don't think you're gonna be doing this for a while, come on over here and get it done. The basic covers 240 credits a month. That's about 240 pictures. You get the idea, and it just goes up from there based on how many images you think you're going to create per month. But it is a lot of fun. It does a pretty good job. Hit or miss, as all AI things are, but I get more good images than I get bad images, provided I get the right picture in there. So play with it. Be good to yourself. Use a good input image, and you'll get a much better result. And let me know what you think of it. Is this something you'll use, or just more of a toy? If this kind of stuff you like to talk about, think about, look at, get tutorials about, learn demos of, get software examples of, you know what I'm talking about. Why don't you just subscribe to the channel because we talk about this stuff constantly. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...